Native speakers often smash words together when they speak, which makes it really hard for us to recognize every single word in a sentence. For example, in American English, the phrase "What's up?" often sounds more like "What's up?" One of the best way to deal with this difficulty is to practice active listening. By practicing active listening, you'll get used to differences between how words sound on their own and how they sound in context. Instead of jumping right into the active listening, we suggest you to watch the video, look up new words to have a general understanding of the video beforehand. Here are the steps to practice active listening again. Step one: listen to each dialogue carefully. You can listen to it as many times as you want. Step two: repeat the dialogue when the video is paused. Step three: check the results when the subtitles are shown up. At this time, you find out your listening gaps. Let me give you an example. I just finished watching the video, and now I'm doing the active listening. I listened to Obama first. We're all Americans. Then I repeat after him. We all Americans. And now check the result. Well, you can see that I've missed the verb be. We are. But he says. We're all Americans. We're all. Sounds just like one word. He links the last sound r with the next sound or to make will. This exercise is definitely helpful yeah. for listening and speaking skills, especially when you want to sound more like the native speakers. You can go back and tapping on a circle Net. to review. We're all Americans. If you think the default speed is too fast or too slow, tap on settings to adjust the subtitle delay time according to your favorite.